I love that. Everybody, how you doing? I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my channel and to another haul. This one's a very exciting one. As the season fast approaches, Halloween is nearly here. How has that happened? It feels like two minutes ago since summer was here and now we're fully into autumn and Halloween's just around the corner. I absolutely love this time of year. It's one of my favorite times of year. Just go all cozy. Halloween's always a treat. Lots of little sweets going around and chocolates. Everyone gets dressed up, it's fun. I love it, I love Christmas, but I do love Halloween just as much. I'm very, very excited to announce that I'm gonna be partnering with Wilco's in this video to show you guys the amazing things they have on offer for Halloween this year. I have a gigantic box oh, here, full of Halloween goodies. I've had a full scour of their website and I have got a treat or a trick in store for you guys. We've got everything in here, pumpkins, candles, decorations, it's gonna be a good one. So I thought for this video, rather than just do a classic haul, I'm gonna show you guys everything you can get, which is also very budget friendly. I'm gonna be styling our fireplace up with a little bit more Halloween goodness, gonna be doing our flat, ready for a Halloween party, I guess you could see it. And also I've got something in here which I'm very, very excited to show you. But yeah, before we kick off, if you wanna check out Wilco, I'm gonna be linking those down below. Everything in this order is gonna be linked down there as well. If you wanna follow them on Instagram, I'm gonna be linking that down there too. If you could give the video a thumbs up, that would be amazing. Don't forget to subscribe and um, yeah, let's get on with the Halloween haul. Okay, so I've got the box here and I'm just opening it to the side. It's probably a very easier way to do this but I never do it easy. Oh my dears. Okay, so this box is absolutely stuffed full of Halloween goodies, so. Let's do I've this. Got my, I've got my order sheet here. So I ordered 11 items and it was actually really, really affordable. Some of the stuff on there is like a pound, 50 pence, which is brilliant. So I've got some like really cool stuff to go on the fireplace and then some just some other bits and bobs. So let's get involved. Oh my days. Okay, so I can see two giant skulls. <laughs> Should we give these names? Leave a comment down below what you, oh my god, this actually was really weird on camera. Leave a comment down below what um what names you give these guys. How about Fred and Barry? And I'm Luke. <laughs> you guys don't have to laugh, it's fine. Oh god. They're a bit dead. That's really bad, I should stop. Oh, they're actually really creepy to look at. Um yeah, these were three pounds each and they're the spooky skulls. I got two because I thought like symmetrical on the fireplace or by our front door could look really cool, but um yeah. How cool are they? Very, very nice. They've been painted really effectively as well. They look very real. I mean, to be fair, they do look very scary. <laughs> so yeah, I got two of the skulls. So the next thing I got is this gigantic light up pumpkin. This was five pounds um, and you just have the light on the back. It doesn't, I don't think it will, no, I think I need to put some batteries in it. But this is a really good option if you've got maybe pets or young kids um, and you don't want to have like exposed candles and like a pumpkin for like health reasons, whatever. But um, I think this is really cool. Or you could put this outside, um, maybe if it was under shelter. I just think that looks wicked. Like, my gosh, we've got like quite a setup going on here, guys. Ah! <laughs> How you doing, Mr. Pumpkinhead? But yeah, I think this is really, really nice. Again, painted really cool. And um, for five pounds, you could get this out every single year. It's brilliant. The next thing I got is a trick or treat ball. Um, this was one pounds fifty. I genuinely thought um, this is just a really good idea to have as like a massive stash of sweets. We live in London in like a flat block, so it's kind of not really likely we're going to get trick or treaters. If anyone comes around, you could just have a bowl full of sweets and like tricks and treats, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is really, really cool. I quite like the orange as well. I've got like an orange theme, lots of orange going on. But yeah, really happy with that. So the next thing I've got are these three glow-in-the-dark skeletons. These you can actually hang. They've got some string attached to them. And I thought these would be really cool in our fireplace to have them hanging above the fire. Um, we don't obviously put the fire on, but I thought they were so cool. They were one pound for three, which is so fun. Um, I just thought they were just a nice little touch and definitely something that you could pop in like a cupboard or somewhere to give someone a little bit of a spook in the dark, but yeah, I really like those. I got some of these, which are a little bit different. It's something I've actually never seen before. They're Halloween pom-pom decorations. They're not really like in the shape of anything. They're just like black balls. Um, I saw these quite a lot on Instagram with Christmas and a lot of people having like pinks and reds and greens, but I never actually saw black ones. They look really cool. Should we maybe open them? Yeah, these were two pounds for two. I think you can hang them or kind of just like leave them on the floor. Oh yeah, and they just stick together. So they come in a little pack. Oh wow, here we go, yeah. So you just literally open them up. Oh my God, that's so satisfying. Wow. 
If you're going for like a black and white theme in your house, a little pop of orange, I think they'd look wicked. They look like baubles, but like really spooky. I think that looks so cool. Yeah, love those. Very nice for two pounds. I also ordered some balloons just because I thought they're always good to have if you're having like a party. Um, these are 10 latex balloons for one pound each. You get five black and five orange, which is brilliant. Um, I think these are blow up to be quite big to be fair. Let's have a look and see. Again, like, you don't really want to spend a lot of money on balloons because obviously at the end of like your party or whatever, they all, you know, get let down. I feel like Zara's gonna come home and be like, why is there balloons everywhere? And I'm like, we're having a party, didn't you know? <laughs> I love that. Amazing. <laughs> it's so cool. I'm having the most fun ever. The next thing I've got are these pumpkin garlands. Now these were one pound each. Again, everything is obviously so affordable. Like all of those decorations haven't even came to like 10 pounds, minus obviously like the pumpkins. But um, yeah, these are Halloween garlands. They've got like black and uh, orange pumpkins on the front, so let's, have a little look to see. That's the pumpkin garland, which I think looks so, so cool. I absolutely love that. Very, very um cool in terms of like how it looks. I love this. This is literally so cool. Like the pumpkins move. If you hold that near a window, like blow in the wind, that looks wicked. So yeah, they were a pound each. But I also ordered another pack of balloons because you can never have too many balloons. Um, I also got some candles. I got a large pillar candle and then two um, black candles. I just thought with our fireplace where it is, obviously we don't actually have a fire, but when you light spooky candles and make it look all like atmospheric, I think they look wicked. So yeah, this was, I think this was two pounds. And then these are two pounds as well. So yeah, brilliant. And they've got like a nice like waxy corn to them, which obviously looks really cool. In the box, I think is another pumpkin. Um, large black terracotta pumpkin. So I think this one's actually, yeah, this one's made of porcelain. Well, yeah, terracotta. Oh wow, look at that. Oh my God, this is actually like real um, porcelain. And this is one that you're supposed to put a tea light in the back of. I think that looks so cool. Should we grab a tea light and see what it looks like? So I've got myself a tea light. That's probably not gonna pick up the best because the light, maybe if I turn this light off. There we go. That looks cool. I imagine in the dark that'll look even better, but I absolutely love that. Wow. And that was five whole English pounds. Yeah, love that. I'm gonna pop that down there and remember that I have a tea light inside it. <laughs> the last thing I got is something that I'm actually very excited about. This is uh, one of the costume and makeup ideas that they had on their site and um, there's a whole section for it. This is a Frightful Zombie zip kit. You can see on the model, that's how they've done it. And then they give you instructions on the back of how to actually do it. I did this for a Halloween look one year and it looked really, really cool. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna be doing this in this video. It would look really cool. And maybe you'll see it in the vlog coming up. But yeah, they've got the two um, makeup palettes in there. So they've got like a black wax and a white wax, a sponge. And then you've got the zip with the fake blood and liquid latex as well to attach it to your face. Wow. That looks so cool. Oh, and a little spoolie as well to help with the um, application. It looks brilliant. And that I think was, yeah, three pounds. So cheap, literally. You pop that on with maybe like some bandages or a t-shirt with some fake blood on it. And there's your Halloween costume. So easy. Yeah, definitely really a fan of that. Okay, so that is everything. I'm gonna be now putting all of this in our flat and making it look spooky as hell. I'm very, very excited. Leave a comment down below what your favorite item is, but um, yeah. This is where the fun begins. Let's make this flat look scary. So this is it guys, this is the finished fireplace look at that, it looks so cool! 
Oh my god, honestly, I'm so, so chuffed with this. I nearly did just have an incident where I nearly set fire to the paper garland. Well, it actually did set fire, but it's okay. It's good. Um, so these are the pumpkins that we picked already, but these are the new pumpkins from Wilco, and they look so cool. Plus those black candles have kind of made it look really spooky. And I've just put some fairy lights through with some pine cones, and it looks so cool. I'm honestly obsessed with that. And then further up, we popped the skulls there, which look wicked, and I've just popped... The nice garland wrapping through. It's so long. Genuinely, I had to like. I thought it was just going to be enough to do one, but it's I had to do two. And then, and then these are the glowing in the dark skeletons, which look so cool. So I put like one hanging on either side. And then look at these skulls. They look so creepy. Genuinely, I'm like, ugh. <laughs> I really like them. So I popped one on either side as well with the black pom poms just hanging too. I think they look wicked. And then I've attached uh, some balloons at the top of the mirror as well just to add another effect. And I think that looks and over here on our shelf. I've just popped the garland as well, just hanging along. And then I popped the final glow in the dark skeleton with his hand kind of in the trick or treat bucket. And I've just popped some chocolates and bits and bobs in there with a couple more balloons. I think that looks wicked. So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and got a little bit of Halloween inspiration. If you have, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and check out Wilco as well. They're absolutely brilliant, really, really affordable. Good for students out there who are trying to do a Halloween party on a budget or just people out there who want to get out their house for Halloween. If I don't catch you guys before Halloween, have an amazing time, enjoy it, get all spooky. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Wilco for reaching out and I'll catch you guys very, very soon. Bye for now.